Hi guys, this is Logan with Northern Arizona Wind and Sun, and today we're going to be installing a system on this brand new Lance travel trailer. This customer contacted us looking for a complete system with panels, batteries, an inverter charger, monitoring. Uh, so we'll be putting in a Victron 12-volt, uh, 3,000 watt multi-plus inverter charger, three of the Battleborn 100 amp hour 12-volt lithium batteries, uh, two 180 uh, watt solar panels up on the roof, and then the rest of the balance of system equipment, charge controller, battery monitor, things like that, that'll all be Victron Energy. Hey guys, this is Logan again. We're checking in on our Lance travel trailer build. Uh, everything's complete and ready to go. We have powered it all up. Everything's looking good. Uh, so we're here to give you guys a little tour and kind of show, show you what we put in. Uh, first things first, up on the roof, we've got two REC 330 watt N-Peak modules. Those are connected in series and that's uh, 660 watts of installed solar capacity. All right, so once the panels got mounted and the cables ran through the roof all the way to the front of the rig that's where the equipment's located so we've got here this forward most compartment bay and uh, that was the best location for us to put our inverter charger along with our solar charge controller and our battery monitor um, so to go into a little more detail on what's in this space here this is our inverter charger that's the Victron multi plus 12 slash 3000 uh, 3000 watt 12 volt inverter charger uh, here you can see the solar charge controller on the uh, interior wall there. That's the Victron Smart Solar 100 slash 50. Uh, next to that we've got a couple circuit breakers, input breaker and output breaker for the charge controller. And then right under that you'll see the battery monitor. In this case that's another Victron device that is the Smart Shunt uh, 500 amp 50 millivolt battery monitor. Uh, so this is kind of the equipment hub. This is where a lot of our connections are taking place. Uh, the solar panel wires come from the roof down into here. Uh, inverter output wires come from here to the breaker panel in the rig. And then uh, also the battery cables to connect the batteries to our equipment are uh, passing into the interior as well. So let's go take a look at the batteries next. All right, so we are inside the rig now. This is in the front of the trailer where the bedroom is. Uh, this is under the, the bed platform. We've got this opened up and uh, we've got our three Battleborn lithium uh, batteries here. Uh, this is where the battery bank is located. Uh, each one of those is 12 volts, 100 amp hours. They're all connected in parallel. We're using the Victron Lynx power in to facilitate our parallel connections. Uh, right to the left of that, you'll see the big a uh, catastrophic 400 amp fuse for our inverter and the compartment we just looked at with the inverter and the charge controller those cables are coming into the interior of the rig here 
to connect to our batteries. Um, now the location under the bed here was chosen for the batteries to give them a little more protection against the cold temperatures. These Battleborn Lithium batteries uh, do not require any ventilation. They're totally sealed and maintenance free. Uh, what that means is there's really no issue putting them under the bed. Uh, we don't have to worry about any fumes or uh, hydrogen gas while these batteries are venting. So again, perfectly safe to have these right under the bed. Um, you know, you, you won't really even notice them. All right, so that's, uh, that's it for the battery bank and our busing. Uh, last thing to show you guys is our Serbo GX and touch display. So we've got the servo installed in this cabinet behind me. That's kind of the brains of the system. And uh, really what that does is it aggregates all of the data and information that the components record and gather individually. And it puts it all in one place that's easy to read, easy to understand, and it updates itself in real time. So you can still monitor all your equipment, all the Victron products anyways, uh, over Bluetooth, but you're seeing one thing at a time. So the servo is kind of nice as you get to see everything all at once. So we can see our little touch, uh, GX Touch 50 display over here. This is providing us with the readout from the servo. Uh, we can see all the devices uh, on and reporting. Our inverter, uh, we've got the battery monitor showing 100%. Solar charge controller is uh, putting out about 40 watts, or the panels rather. Batteries are in float right now, so we're not getting a whole lot of solar production. What's really cool about this system is you can see um, there's no AC loads. We don't have anything that's taking AC uh, running at the moment, but we are still pulling some DC power. So you, the servo can actually uh, kind of calculate the difference between the AC draw and the total draw off of the batteries. And whatever that deficit is, it chalks up to DC loads. So right now we've kind of just got um, what maybe a few lights on in the rig, um, kind of just the basic sensors and all that is powered up. So pulling about 70 or so watts um, off of the DC bus. And uh, sooner or later, once the batteries dip down a little lower, we'll, we'll see the solar production pick back up and start to cover that entirely. So the servo does have integrated Bluetooth. Um, there's not a whole lot you're doing on the servo via Bluetooth. So really what is a, another good feature of the servo, it's your gateway to the internet. So if you do have internet in your rig, the servo can connect to that over Wi-Fi, and that lets you monitor your equipment remotely over Victron's VRM portal. Uh, you can also look at that right here in the rig as well, but for example, if you put your trailer in storage for a winter, uh, you, can, you can always log into the VRM, check and see how the system's doing, make sure everything's good to go, and uh, it's a pretty powerful tool. Uh, that also lets us here at Wind & Sun log into your system remotely. So if you ever do have issues, any problems, something's not working quite right, we can literally sign in to your system from our office and make any changes or adjustments that we need to. So it's a pretty, pretty powerful tool. All right, guys, that's a, that's a wrap for this build on the Lance Travel Trailer. Hope you guys enjoyed the little walk through there. Um, if you have any questions at all about this system or like to get a similar system of your own, give us a call or shoot us an email. Thanks for watching. Thank you for watching our video. If you enjoyed it, please like, subscribe, and comment.